With the release of Cabinet Vision version 10, a feature was added where we could save the view of a 3D scene, which allowed us to add in CAD as needed. Now that same function has been added to our cross section. When we create a cross section, we now have the option to right click and save scene. Here we can give it a name. And then we can select that view that we saved. And now we'll see that the CAD function is available. So you can add in any CAD as you normally would, and things like our assembly leaders will also be present here. So here I can create a leader that will label that cabinet. In Cabinet Vision version 11, you now have the capability to select items in the 3D tab and change their properties. Well, in our 3D tab, I'll select our cabinet. The properties for this cabinet will populate on the left hand side, so you can control things like your finishes, your textures, your material, your hardware. You can also select items such as moldings, and you can change your finish, texture, finish type, and profile here as well. This will make it faster for you to modify your design on the fly as needed and prevent you from having to go into the assembly level or any of the other screens that would be required to change these properties. In Cabinet Vision version 11, a new tab has been added to our 3D view. This tab is Properties. This will allow us access to our job and room level properties, just as we've seen in the past in our plan and elevation view. However, also added is our visual section here. What this will allow is for you to select any material and change the color, texture, and finish type per material. Keep in mind that this is for visual purposes only. We also have the option to modify our finish type properties here as well. And this will be for this job only, so keep in mind this will be not saved at the system level.